hey hey so the blogging actually the blogging is the still is the most efficient way to make money online uh, you can consider this as a typical offline business so how you can consider you can earn the money on the traditional business in the same way you can earn money from here also so if you say if you are a blogger you can consider yourself you are an entrepreneur uh, just like how that uh, offline business uh, man is telling their business right okay so when we uh, talk about that blogging uh, we should start with the domain name right so i will tell you exactly so we need a domain so when we when we are going to do some kind of blogging we need domain then we need web hosting right then <coughs> say excuse me then we need a blogging software right blogging software to post our articles right so here this domain we can have either free or we can pay it for getting our own domain i mean we can have we can create the subdomain of any of the already having primary domain so here the domain and web hosting either we can have it as a free or a paid service so i will let you know that what's the difference between that free and paid so if you go with that free uh, domain and web hosting then you cannot have the as much as freedom when you are selecting your domain or when you are selecting your web hosting kind of thing right so let's say for example um, if i go with wordpress.com right so then uh, in this website uh, i can create a domain for me so in this case that domain will be a subdomain of wordpress.com right so just say for example uh, i can create the domain that nagudaran.wordpress.com or kevin.wordpress.com or uh, your name.wordpress.com so uh, if i want to create the domain like this nagudaran.com or kevin.com or your name.com then it is not possible in this way of creating the domain right and in the same way that uh, hosting also uh, this wordpress.com itself is included that hosting uh, as a free of cost so when you create your own subdomain in the wordpress.com you will get that hosting also but that hosting has some limitations when compared uh, when, when compared to your paid hosting services that uh, main difference is you cannot upload uh, the WordPress theme on your own or you cannot uh, install your own plugins in the WordPress theme or you cannot access that file system of your installation, right? So these are all the limitations what this um, free uh, domain and web hosting is having. But in this way, if you go with a paid service, you can have that lot of uh, opportunities. Let's say, for example, uh, usually for uh, getting the domain uh, uh, on my own, I am I am using that website called that namecheap.com. So of course there are many more uh, domain providers are available, but anyhow uh, I am just like that namecheap.com's uh, uh, UIs and the way they are uh, providing that services on their offers. So those things is uh, very much interested to me, so that I am using that namecheap as my domain registrar so here when you go to the namecheap.com here you, you just enter the name that you want to register the domain if that name is already available they will provide you um, the option to purchase or otherwise they will uh, just give you that other suggestions to register the domain in this case i am just putting uh, just say my website for you right i'm just clear trying this website and click the search button mm, then that result is coming so you see that my website for you.com is available so when i change this as us dollar i can get so this my website for you.com is available so i can 
purchase this domain for $8.88 per year. So if I want to buy, I simply click the add to cart and do the other process, right? So this is the way I am just purchasing the domain, right? Uh, the second thing is we need to have the web hosting, right? So why we need the first, let, let I tell you the difference between the domain and the web hosting. So most people uh, may have some confusion. So why we need a domain, why we need a web hosting, why we, we need a blogging software to have to, to blogging, right? So uh, it's it makes sense to do the blogging. We just need a blogging software, right? So why do why do we need the domain and web hosting? Let's I'm telling you. So basically you just consider the domain is just like the address of your home. So if someone want to come to your home, then what's the first uh, first process? You need to tell the address of your home to them, to them, right? So then only they can come into your home. So likewise, when you are uh, writing the article on your blog, uh, the end goal is you want your article needs to be read by other people, right? So for that, they need to visit your blog first. So for that, they need some address, right? So that is that address is nothing but is your domain name, right? So the web hosting is something like your home so you ask the people to come to this address so why you are asking the people to come to this address um, uh, um, for example you are inviting your you are invited your uh, friend to your home for a dinner right so in this case if you provide the address of your home but in that address you don't have a home then what happen he cannot he cannot come for a dinner he cannot have a dinner with you right without your home so here that home we can directly related with the web hosting right so you can understand right so here the domain is nothing but is nothing just like the home address of your home and web hosting is nothing but the home of yours right so inside the home you can have that furnitures like sofa and electronics items like tv um, um uh, laptop desktops and electrical items like fans ac the so many kind of items you have inside your home so those items are we can consider as a article on your blogs right hope you understand now that all the domain what is domain what is web hosting and what is blogging softwares everything you understand now right so now we need a web hosting or we need a home right so generally in a real world for uh, for a home what we will do we will just contact that real estate builders right so likewise so in the online also there are lot of real estate builders will have the offer for the web hosting we can call them here as a web hosting providers right so in this way usually i am using the two web hosting one is that uh, host getter host getter.com and this is the host getter and another one i'm usually using that host wins host wines.com right so this is the host wine.com so uh, here you can purchase any of that uh, uh, web hosting plan they have that variety of web hosting plan so when you are starting your blogging so you just go with sad web hosting right you don't need a business or reseller or white label you just start with sad and later you can upgrade your web hosting into the business or reseller or white label right so if i go to that sad web hosting that hostwin is having that basic advanced and ultimate these are all that options what that hostwin is having you can pick any of that offer and have your web hosting right so once you have that web hosting that what next you need to install the blogging software inside your web hosting right so for that i'm just logging into my account now on the web hosting so once you log in into uh, that uh, your web hosting account you can have access that c panel right so that c panel is nothing but the control panel of your uh, web hosting service so if i click that c panel so um, the c panel login is coming here so here you have a file manager and you can have a database that lot of technical stuff are there so we just simply leave these things right so the as a first step so if you purchase your domain on namecheap so let let i log in first on the namecheap right i have account on that namecheap so i just log in to that account 
sign in to the sign in and continue uh, they are sending that verification code okay so I am giving that verification code here and click the submit button then then I'm getting all of my domains here, right? So here the Nagudaran, Nagudaran.com. So some of the few more domains what I'm having, I'm, I have it. So I just go to the domain list, right? And I just pick one of the website I'm having. So just say, for example, I'm taking Nagudaran.com, right? So if I click this, so many domain, I'm not using it, right? So if I go to that manage on this domain, and go to here so here the main thing this is here that name server part is right right so here in the name server when you when you start you cannot see this custom domain it will be there that name chip basic dns will be uh, it, it will be selected so you need to change this as a custom dns then you need to go to your uh, cpanel account and inside that cpanel you can find sorry not the cpanel inside your client area of the host bin you can find the name server of the things right so that vlabs 127 host wind dsdns.com and 128 so actually this name server is specific to my account so if you have created your own account on host wins you may find that different name here so whatever name it is you just simply copy this name server name and go to your name chip account and pick your uh, domain name and come to that name server port and select the custom dns and paste the two name servers here then save it right that's it so once i change this here the tick mark is coming so when you click this tick mark that changes will be saved so once you saved it it means what it means now you have if you uh, if you give that name server of yours uh, web hosting name server into that domain then what it will happen you just match this house address is belongs to this home so likewise you have matched it right so once you matched it come back to that cpanel of your uh, host wind account and here you just go to the domains section you just click this domains and once it's loading you just click the create new domain and add your domain name so in this case it's nahudaran.com right so i just add the nahudaran.com and you simply click the submit of course i already added this domain name so uh, it's it, it's giving the error to me so for you it will not give so you just add your own domain name here and click the submit then the domain will be created right so once the domain is created you you can come back here under your home page of cpanel now we need to install the blogging software so for that here in the find functions quickly by typing here you just type wordpress so i just simply click this wordpress manager by hostwinds software close so this is the most common uh, wordpress installation service on many web hosting uh, providers is having so here i just simply click the install right then it will ask me to pick the domain name so here i just pick the domain name i just selected then in directory and just leave this as a blank so i want to install that wordpress on my root of my domain right so then you can give that site name site description and your admin username admin password and pick the language and you if you click the install button that's it in within uh, minute or two that wordpress has installed on your domain name at the nahudaran.com right so once that domain is installed it will give you that uh, that username password to log in into your account so usually that login uh, detail you can go with uh, you just put your domain name slash wp login so this is the login uh, URL of the domain name. So here up to this, maybe something different 
it's it's depends on the domain what you have picked right so but this wp login.php is as it is so when you um, browse this page it will ask you to enter that username and password so once you enter that username and password so here i'm just entering my username and password it will log in and i have enabled that 2fa so i'm just uh, entering i'm just giving that name of the 2fa one second so here i have my google authenticator this is just some extra uh, security features i just want to secure my wordpress account from uh, hackers right or bot attack <coughs> So here the name I'm just going to three zero. Sorry, name is changed. So four seven nine four four nine. Uh, four seven nine four four nine. I'm logging. So once you logged in, you can see that main uh, console for the admin, right? So this is the main console for the admin, like this. So here uh, you may see some of, uh, you may not see some of the menus like this, like this WP auto terms and thrive light boxes. These are all the, these are all the plugins or uh, themes I have installed. So those are coming here, but uh, at very first, uh, the default installation, you can see this, this post media pages and appearance plugins, these things you can see. So that's it so here if you want to create your own article that first step you just go to the post and click the add new right so it will give you that um, um, article editor where you can write your own article so it is opening here <coughs> yes so here you can you can give the title my first article and here that article body is goes right so once you write the article you can save it as a draft and you can previewing this article and publish that publish is something when you complete the article and uh, if you completely finish your article then you simply just click the publish so when you do the publish you can um, save this article under the categories uh, of some other category you can create the categories here the categories of that wordpress is something you can uh, organizing that number of articles you have just say for example you are uh, you are writing the article about that digital products review then you can simply take this category and save this article under this category likewise that free course uh, those kind of thing we can add it right so that's it now that biggest question you may ask i how do I write the article or how do I get the content for that article, right? So that is basically uh, if you are an expert on in some particular niche, then you just write it here what you know about that article. But that will also will take some time to write it, right? So suppose uh, I know the topic about email marketing, right? But if I write the article about the email marketing, which contains around 2000 words to 3000 words, uh, definitely it will take me more time. But instead of that, if I just correct or, um, um, yeah, if I just correct the article, which is already written, which is already written on the email marketing topic, then that would be easy for me. Why? Because I already know about that email marketing so when i am reading that article about email marketing i can easily change some content and i can easily switch over that content into my own article right so in this way so here this is the one of the uh, quickest way to write the article but for that where you can pick the email uh, article which is already created on email marketing it's very simple most of the uh, people are doing the mistake they just go to the google and find and just type that email marketing and pick any of that first website that is giving that email marketing they simply just say for example if i click this so here this is the quick uh, biggest article is coming so this article they will use of course you can use this article but the main problem is 
if you copy this article and change some few things here the problem of this is your article may have that duplicate content of this uh, website right so it will affect your ranking on SEO so always when you are writing that article that article should be a unique and that should be a user engagement should be also there your uh, readers should enjoy it when they are reading that article so then how do you do that uh, that best thing is here I am introducing that one uh, website is called article article forge right at articleforge.com so i already have an account on this so at every time i'm using this only for creating that article quickly uh, and almost unique article right so here you see now i'm coming back to this and see this i'm just picking some of the headings here so here the first heading is what is email marketing I'm just putting this as my main keyword and I can also add some of the sub keywords so that sub keywords also I am look over here in this I'm just picking so um, these are all the sub keywords I can use it that growing your email list choosing an email service segmenting your email list improving email open rate and automated email marketing I just copy this and paste this here right then if I simply choose the article length I want some 750 words of articles and I need a or titles I don't need an image video that uh, and at all I simply create that create new article then that article will start to write with the artificial intelligence engines right so let's see once that article is written we will see how that article's quality it looks like so now that article is created so we just see the result by clicking here so that what is email marketing so what is email marketing basically that email marketing is an effective internet marketing strategy for sending mass emails to potential customers and leads so in this article we will walk you through the basic process of segmenting your email list so you can gain leads and make sales 24 hours a day. This article may be freely reprinted or distributed in its entirety in any e-sign, newsletter, blog or website. The author's name, bio and website links must remain intact and are included with every reproduction. So that email marketing is a technique used to promote products and services. So let's have some quick comparison of this paragraph and this actual article. So here they have given that what is email marketing? That email marketing is the highly effective digital marketing strategy of sending emails to prospects and customers. Effective marketing emails convert prospects into customers and turn one-time buyers into royal and raving fans. But here, that same sentence is not coming here. It's completely different, right? It's an internet marketing strategy for sending mass emails to potential customers and leads. So here in this case, what we can do, we simply copy this, right? is simply copy this article and create this article on our website by adding here so let's say I just uh, copy uh, one second my mouse is having some yeah I copy this article and come back to my post and paste it here then that article is came here then I just pick this and choose this one so in this way you can create the article in very quickly but this is not enough that article forge itself will not give you that 100% unique article it will give you up to 80% unique article to you so you need to make that remaining 20% as your own so here in this article I am just read this article on our on my own and creating um, some of the uh, re uh, rewriting some of the sentences on on my wish because I know about the uh, email marketing since this article is about the email marketing I can able to rewrite any of the sentences on my own here right so this is the one thing so the next important thing before we are uh, uh, publishing our article we need to do the proofreading on this article because the proofreading is very important on the SEO process and it also increase the engagement of your users if you do the proofreading so the proofreading is you can do easily if you are a native english speaker then 
proofreading is very easy for you you can simply read it and do the changes on your own but the people like me i am not a native english speaker so i cannot do the proofreading as much like how the native english speakers is doing so for that i am using the tool is called grammarly right so grammarly is having that free version also but here i am using the paid version because that paid version is giving me much more uh, advantages over that free right so it's your wish you can either use free or paid version so i have provided that link down below of this grammarly uh, uh, software uh, registration also here i just go to that click the new button and paste that article here right i'm just pasting this article copy my article from here right copy it come back and paste it here paste it here so once i paste it it will ask me to set goals right so that audience my audience is whether general or knowledgeable or expert i'm just picking this as a knowledgeable people and formality is uh, formal i i always write my article in formal way and domain is the uh, general domain the tone is confident and intent is described right so i am just simply done this goal option will not come in the free version of grammarly so once i set the goal based on that goal that grammarly will give me that suggestions right now this article is having that 40 suggestions right i am i can simply um see that suggestions here it is asking me to remove it appears that basically may be unnecessary in this sentence considered by removing it. it is suggesting me to remove this content so i can decide it whether i want to remove this basically or i can keep it so if i want to remove this i simply click on this then that basically will be removed and that email is that e is also become as the capital letter so likewise i can able to do all of the changes whether i want these changes or not i can do it so once i done this the very important thing that what the grammarly paid version is having that plagiarism right so this plagiarism the plagiarism is nothing but it will uh, search the article sentences or sentence fragment which are already uh, duplicated in any other websites so you see this is the article that article forge is created so when i do the plagiarism on grammarly I can able to see this particular article is having 7% of plagiarism. It means this article is 93% is a unique article, right? So here um, this report is showing which sentences is also plagiarism, plagiarized uh, from which website is also it's showing me. So here you can leave this thing because I am creating, uh, the, uh, I am writing the article about that email marketing. Here this particular sentence in this article we will walk you through this particular sentence is <coughs> plagiarized on this website about this uh, uh, topic right this is this topic is completely different uh, completely uh, something different when compared to email marketing so we can leave this as it is so for that i simply click the delete button then this one so this sentence is also is something completely different so i can delete this then finally this one the following are some of the best practices this also i can leave it so in this way we can leave some of the plagiarized content or we can rewrite that sentence here the plagiarized the sentences alone here then we can get the 100 percent original article here and also i am getting my overall score here when i click this so it will give me some more information this particular article is having 3997 characters and 652 words and 32 sentences and the readability score is 50 actually that readability score should be around uh, above 60 or above 70 will be good and that will um, intimate us that article is can be readable very easily so it will give more engagement with the users so always when we are creating the article we should make sure uh, that readability score should be above 65 right so then uh, we have written the very good uh, we can uh, ensure ourselves we have written very good article that article can be read by many users in very easily right so 
once you've done everything you just copy this and come back to here and publish this article that's it so in this way you can create more number of articles so the create uh, the registering the domain and registering that web hosting and installing that wordpress on your web hosting is the one time task so after that you need um, that creating that article using that article forge and proofreading that article and plagiarized that uh, identifying that plagiarized content and rewriting that content via that grammarly app these two things is the recurring task as and when you are going to create your article on your web page right so once you create the article when you paste it here the next important thing is you need to do that on page seo right that on page seo is very important task that you need to do to increase the user engagement on your website so i have uh, um, demoing that very uh, long video about about the on page seo alone you can view that video in a separate link here right okay thank you